Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Priya, aka Beauty and Books, and we do all things beauty and book based here. And today we have something a little bit different. I am taking you through my whole Vive collection. So yeah, I mean, I've accumulated, is that the right word? A lot of Vive makeup over the last three years that it's been a company. So I thought, why not just take you through everything I have? I don't have the whole collection. This is my collection, not their whole makeup collection because they've got a lot of stuff and I don't have as much money to buy it all. Um, and tell you out of the things that I've got, if they're worth the purchase or not. And I will do that, what's the word? Unbiasedly? Because um, obviously I love it all, otherwise I wouldn't have it. Um, yeah, so that is the context of today is video. So if that sounds like a little bit of you, then let's do this. So I'm going to do this in sections like um, face, eyes, lips, etc. So starting off with the face, I'll mark out what's been gifted and what hasn't as well. Um, so we'll start with primers. Um, I've got the Vive Skin Nova. Now, this is an instant radius primer. It's full of like skin loving ingredients and stuff like that. I will flash up on the screen here kind of what it entails, what it includes and all of that. I have to say, I love this. This is really, really good. It definitely gives you a really nice glowy kind of hydrated skin look um, and it's great just to wear on its own as your moisturizer um, and I do really like it. I haven't seen anything similar to it on the market but I'm not gonna lie like I'm not really out and about looking for like dupes and stuff so I'm sure there's probably something similar out there in boots or something like that but this is very very nice. And then moving over to the Skin Do, which is a glow multitasker. Um, this is basically a liquid highlighter in a bottle. I like it and I think I got this when it first came out. I think I got the dodgy tube because it just like spills and is so messy and it goes everywhere. Um, it's very good at what it's meant to do, which is basically give you a glow and it is quite natural, but I'm a naturally oily girl. So on my face, I don't really need this. I tend to go towards more um, powder highlighters because with this, I feel like my skin just looks too oily too quickly. But on the body, it's very nice. Do I think it's worth the price? I'm gonna say no, because I don't think this is something I'm gonna repurchase because I definitely think there are other things out there that is similar so that's i think if i was a dry person with dry skin i think i would love this but as an oily person i can't really justify buying it again if that makes sense it, yeah so unfortunately mm. and then we go on to more of the complexion so these three things were gifted to me because i was the muse of the month um last september i want to say Maybe like literally like a year ago, almost. Okay, so we have the Modern Radiance Concealers and I've got the Medium 4 and Light 3. Um, now, I have to say, there's so much product in here. It's amazing. Um, medium 4 is like near enough my perfect foundation shade. So I have been using it as a foundation here and there. But, but, they aren't my favourite when it comes to concealers and I'm really sad about it. Um, I normally use the NYX Can't Stop Wearing Stuff and I've been using that for years and I think that is good, is that better? But again, that is just because it's my skin type and I find that the NYX is very dry and matte, which is what I want and that is what I need on my skin type. These are lovely and very nice, but I find that they crease on me. Um, I find them a little bit too thick. Um, yeah, so if I had bought these and they weren't gifted, I would be not as happy about having them. And this sounds really bad because I absolutely love this brand. So V, if you are watching this, I love you. And please don't take this video as a sign to me off your PR list if I am on it. Um, but this is just my opinion. Okay, you can have some hit and misses in a brand, okay guys? Don't hate on me. Um, yeah, I didn't really like these, unfortunately. Um, then we have the Modern Powder Perfector, which is this lovely powder here. This one is in medium. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, powder's a powder to me. 
it's very nice it's very lightweight it does what it says but i think i'm just a loose powder girly um i feel like i have to use a lot of this to do what i need it to do and for it to do it for a long time again i'm an oily girly so i like to just kind of pack on the powder where my oils are and i feel like i'll go through this very quickly this one was gifted too um so all in all these three are probably the only three things as well as the skin dew that i am not a fan of that i have everything else i'm kind of obsessed with so you know we've got the negatives out of the way quickly right still staying on the face side we have the these are so grubby let me give them a little bit of a cleaning so we have the sunset blushes now i've got three shades and these i bought when they first pretty much came out i have sorbet at the top which is the pink one pascal the orange and this one is piazza now i love these i think these are absolutely stunning they are so buildable the pigment stays and lasts they have a really gorgeous don't want to say shimmer but there's a little sheen to them which means you don't actually have to wear highlighter especially i am going to say it again as a oily girl like me you just don't need the extra highlighter sometimes and these with that lovely little sheen like you know it's great it's brilliant so i really like these i think they're worth it and i think they pretty much suit every blooming skin tone out there i was very worried about piazza which is this darker one but the like the bronzeness it gives you is just i don't know it's just really nice and like pesca is absolutely brilliant as just a really subtle hint of color on the skin sometimes you don't want to look like you're wearing blush but equally you need to put a bit of blush on because it adds color and then sorbet is just a really lovely bright corally pink um, and then mix them all together or like ombre them or whatever and it is top tier top tier now we will go over to the eyes section i have the vive eye ones and this one is old gold and this one is mahogany i got these at the vive pop-up um back in london and i have to say i find these a little bit meh and i just think that's because i am happy to sit and play with eyeshadow and there isn't a frequent need for me to do my makeup on the go i'm really quick and stuff um so that's why i'm a little bit indifferent to them like i love them they are a really great product and that they are really long lasting they set down really lovely and they are generally a great base for any sort of eyeshadow look i have to say there are some others like the l no budge shadow stick which i have which is also very good and no budge so obviously depending on your price point <laughs> depend on what side you can go to so i'm basically saying that these are really good and if you have the money get them if you don't don't worry there are other alternatives out there in the market but i really love these two shades because you can't actually go wrong which is why i bought them because i was like can't go wrong with a nice brown and a gold now on to like literally my three ultimate favorite products and it is my palette so I have the three big palettes from Vive. Um, we've got the Essential Palette, which is now my grubbiest one because I got this when it first came out. Absolutely stunning, you can't go wrong. Then I have the 90s Palette. This one was gifted to me because there was an issue when they sent over the concealers and stuff. Um, as part of my muse thing so to apologize with it taking like literally over a month they sent me this at the same time so this surprised me i'm genuinely obsessed with all the colors in here and then last but not least my most recent baby and my absolute favorite out of all of them is the muse palette honestly all of these colors are just top tier all of these palettes are absolutely beautiful i have to say that all of them blend really nicely and the colours in them just work. They all mix together really nicely and I just think once you've got all three of them, I, you can bloom and do anything to be fair. Like, yes, they're set up as their own colour stories, but they're stunning. The only annoying thing is that the Essential Palette is you know a different material so it's definitely wearing a lot more than my others right let me see if i can hold this without it falling over so this is all of the palettes together and you can see you've just got a really lovely color story with them all just just 
fabulous. Like you've just got everything you need pretty much. So I just look at how they perform, I look how they blend. They're really easy to blend. So if you're a beginner learning how to do eyeshadows and you're just not too sure, then you can't go wrong. Um, the shimmers, shimmer to hell, honestly. They are so glittery. Um, there is a little bit of fallout with the shadows and the shimmers, but fallout doesn't really ever seem to phase me. Cause like, you know, it's just the eyeshadow, as long as you wipe it off nicely, you're all good. Um, but yeah, the shimmers are insane, the pigment's great, and I found that I've not really had too much issue with the pigment showing up on my skin tone. So the palettes are a winner, and I think they're about £45 each, which I think you can get like other palettes that have more pans for the same price, but these pans are massive, and I think sometimes when you've got so many colours in one palette, take the Be Perfect carnival palette for example this palette is absolutely brilliant if you're like a makeup artist and you need all of these colors or if you're consistently doing creative looks but for the everyday person that's quite overwhelming um so i think these i think was it 16 these 10 shadows absolutely massive these pans and this palette is going to be my wedding palette i'm telling you still got one more product for the eyes and that is their lashes now oh, i've picked up the wrong one so ignore the fact that this is a full lash, because this is actually a half lash. I've just put in a different lash with this at the same time. And this is in the shade, wisp, shade, style, whisper. <coughs> Trying out these half lashes definitely made me love half lashes. When it comes to lashes, I'm never really bothered about them. And as long as they're a decent price, then I'm okay. And I tend to wear um, my lashes so many times before I eventually jump away. Right, there we go. There, so they're e half lashes and whisper and they are very nice. Um, and they just do the job really. They're neither here nor there. I'm not kind of got any strong opinions about whether you should get them or not. They're just a bit like, yeah, nice. If you can get any cheaper ones, then go for it. I don't think there's anything particularly special about these half lashes, if I'm being honest. But they are very nice and they have lasted me a long time. Now we'll move over to the lips. And we're starting off with the Vive Modern, obviously it's the Vive because this is the Vive video, the Modern Lip Definers, which are their lip liners. Now, I have six of these shades and I really like their lip liners. So I've got Tailored, Bark and Rumour were my four originals that I brought. And I have to say, Brat is absolutely stunning. These are all stunning. Um, and I was never really one for lip liners before, but kind of seeing how they can transform a lipstick into an entirely different tone is like brilliant. So like you can wear one lipstick, wear a really dark brown with it, and it will change it entirely. And you can wear the same lipstick and wear more of something a bit red or peachy or pinkier, and it will again change it. So these are really nice. They're really creamy. They glide on like nothing and they last for a very long time as well as your lipstick fades they kind of leave a nice little border and i just think yeah these are really nice these are very nice and i definitely think they work really well with the lipsticks um they're really creamy i don't think they're too drying they don't really tug at your lip and um, they just kind of glide on especially if your lips are really nicely moisturized um but i've worked on some clients with these um that have had some crusty lips and they've been alright, they've gone on quite nicely. So yeah, I these are a good one, definitely. Let's go to the lipstick. So my my newest purchase is the Lip Dew. Now, I don't know how I feel about this yet. <laughs> okay. Um, it's a glossy lip oil. I know it's probably got a load of like lip loving ingredients and stuff, but I don't know what they are. They will be on the screen at the moment. Um it has a very lovely glittery take to the lips so a regular lip gloss is doesn't have anything in it it's just a gloss whereas this will add some like glitteriness to your lips um which is unusual but i have to say every time i've worn it so far it's lasted a very long time obviously when you eat it's not gonna last but just generally it's lasted a long time on my lips um i apply it with my finger if i've got lipstick on because i just don't want to get the little brush dirty um smells lovely it doesn't feel too gross Obviously your lipstick, your hair and stuff will stick to it, but you know, that's just what it is. But the moment I'm slightly indifferent just because I haven't used it enough to give you guys a proper opinion. Um, but I have to say, like it's nice. There's nothing about this is telling me, ew, that's disgusting. Tell everybody you hate it because it's not, it's, it's really lovely. I just don't know 
how lovely it is and if I will be repurchasing yet. I think it depends how much I wear it. Now onto the modern matte lipsticks. I have five lipsticks here that you can see. Um, so we have got Coming In Hot and Power Suit. These were the first two that I ever brought. The lipsticks do smell. The lipsticks, skin dew and skin and lip do all smell the same they smell very good honestly power suit is every brown girl's blooming burnt orange dream it's stunning and then we'll go over to promise which is the one i bought at their pop-up this is a very lovely deep dusky pinky type color very cool tone very nice um, and then my latest ones to the collection are Pinch and Brat. Brat is part of their 90s collection and it's limited edition, so if you want it, be quick. Um, but it was based on the fact that everybody wanted it because the lip liner was just so good. And you know what? It is. Brat is also like my perfect nude. It is stunning. These are lovely. I have to say, the component that they're in is lovely. They've got magnetic lids to them. So you just kind of lift and you drop and it just snaps together it's stunning they just look really pretty in your handbag um they wear beautifully so they obviously come off because they are lipstick they are not like a lip stain or a liquid lip that's designed to stay all day which personally i am just not a fan of i don't really like those but what they do is when the pigment is there first off they wear lovely and as they wear off the kind of leave a nice little i don't want to say stain but leave a little edge that kind of looks like you're still wearing lipstick and it's not gross yeah i mean they're just really nice lipsticks and i would definitely keep buying these because i love how they wear i love that they go matte but not drying matte i love how creamy they are when you apply them again you don't feel like you're tugging on your lips you don't feel like they're drying um yeah i just love them i think they're really nice and i definitely think they're worth the money last but not least we have the Vive brush collection. I got the full expression, I think this is what it's called, um, which is the whole brush collection plus this canister. And um, this is how it opens. So all the brushes are in here. And then you pop this little bad boy down and here they are. Um, and then when you wanna put them away, you put that up and then it just makes it easier to put the lid back on. Um, so I'll go through each brush one by one and I'll tell you my opinions on each of the brushes. But I think this set is £250 and you're thinking, what? How much for a set of makeup brushes? I know, they're spenny, all right? But these were a treat for myself after I stopped paying off my car. And are they the same price as my monthly car payment? They were, but they are beautiful. So, you know, if you don't have that type of money, absolutely fine there are loads of brilliant other makeup brushes out there i love some of the morphe ones real techniques are amazing and other various of the brands okay so face brushes um i was gifted an extra one two three precision precision powder and an extra 119 conceal and prime because they came with my muse gift with the concealers and the powder Right, so we'll start off with a massive one, which is the 127 powder and bronze. Um, don't really care for this brush too much. It's lovely, it's brilliant. I have to say, they're all lovely and soft and they clean really well. Um, but I personally just don't have a use for a brush this big, okay? You can see how fluffy and soft it is. And it, I think... Like, you could use it as bronzer, but for me personally, this is just too big for my little face. Um, so this kind of just hides away <laughs> in my little bag. Okay, moving on, keeping with the powder brushes, we have the Precision Powder Brushes. Now, I really like these ones. Um, they're basically baby versions of that brush that I just showed you. Um, again, really soft, really lovely. They put down the product so nicely and disperse it, just lovely. And they're just really nice on the skin they feel good so i love these too and then we have the 121 blush and bronze this is another favorite um whereas the precision powder is a little bit more rounded and domed the blush and bronze is a little bit more like thin and square shaped so i tend to use this for my bronzer because i really like 
how I could be a bit more precise in my placement. And I just really like the shape. If I had two of these, I would also use this one for blush, but I don't. Um, but I really like this too. And then there's the 125 highlighter brush. And I had never seen a highlighter brush in this shape before, like at all in my life. It's very, very thin. And it has these little, one long tapered side and one really short one. And I really like this. Um, I have used it as powder as well before under my eyes. So I think this can be used for any sort of thing. Okay, and then we have the 117 foundation brush. And oh my God, this is, this is the best one. This is my favorite. If you're buying any of these brushes, buy the foundation brush, trust me. So as you can see, it's very, very short. It's very, very dense. Um, it's quite, I don't, I don't know, thin a little, um, but it definitely packs a punch and it is just very good for just like dabbing on the product. A lot of the times I use this for my concealer as well. So yeah, I really like this one. This is a winner. Now we have the 119 Conceal and Primer. I don't think these numbers match, I want to know why. Um, so this is basically a baby version of the foundation brush but it's also at an angle. And I personally am not really a fan of the concealer prime brush. I don't think I'm a concealer brush person. So I could basically hit and miss this. I definitely, I use this to spread out my eye primer and I maybe all blend in the inner corner of my um, concealer and stuff, but I don't necessarily use it to blend out my concealer, really. I kind of feel like it takes ages to do, which is why I use the foundation brush. So I can hit and miss on this one. On to the Fantabulous eye brushes. So these brushes are all so soft and they blend out your eyeshadow like a dream. So let's do with the blendy brushes first. In the original set comes the 127 Large Eyeshadow Blender and the 129 Small Eyeshadow Blender. They are basically the same, just one's bigger, one's little. And I love the 129 so much, which is the small one, that I went and bought another one. Um, and I think I'll probably buy another one because it is so nice and it fits into my crease so well. Like, I'll be using the small ones more than the large. Um, but yeah, I really like these. And they're so lightweight to the touch and they just fit in my hand nicely it's like a paintbrush and i just really love them I, I always feel really bougie and fancy when i'm working with these and then we're going over to the 223 eyeshadow packer which again i really love it's a cross between a blending brush and a packer i want to say so it's quite fluffy um but also quite dense so you can really pack the product on it and blend at the same time which i really love um it's very good i like it uh, okay, and then we have the 221 eyeshadow smudger. Now, I don't know if I would use this as a smudger just because I think it's got a bit, bit too much like flex in it. It is a really nice detail shadow brush. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. I love it. It's great. I love, to be fair, I absolutely love all of the eyeshadow brushes. Whereas this is what I would call a smudger. This is the 225 precise eyeshadow packer and it's really teeny tiny, really little. Um, so this apparently is this guy's baby sister, effectively. <laughs> um, but I would definitely use this more to smudge out any sort of eyeshadows or anything like that, or even like some highlight and stuff. And lastly for the eyes, we have the 227 angle brush, which on one side has an angle brush and the other side has a um, spoolie. It's very good, it's very sharp, I really like it. It's so far, it's not fraying on me, which is good, because I did have the P. Louise one and it did start to fray, whereas this one is still doing well. And then last but not least, we have the 229 Lip and Line Brush. I have not seen a lip brush like this shape at all ever in my life. Um, it is very thin, it's starting to fray a little. I don't know if that's just my own proper care. So it's very thin and then it has this kind of angled taper to it. So it's not just a straight line, it has like a little bend. And yeah, I don't personally use a lip brush, um, so I'll pro I use this more for like packing on eyeshadow and it still does the job. Okie dokie, I think that's it guys. I think that's everything. So that is my whole Vive collection. 27 items, excluding counting these individually. That's just the brush set as it is. Like I said, there is probably only four items out of this whole collection. 
that I wouldn't purchase again, which is the concealers, the powder, the skin do, um, the, the main ones, um, and the eyeshadow sticks and the lashes only because I personally am not too bothered about them. I don't really have a great need for them. Um, so I would happily shop them elsewhere. But equally, because I am a Vive ho, I, I will shop them at Vive. <laughs> but yeah, the eyeshadow palettes are my, my winners. They are the best, they are absolutely stunning. I really want to try out their bronzers, um, the cream ones and the powder ones, as well as their cream blush. Um, but this is my collection as it stands. If you have any further questions about any of these items that I haven't answered, um, please let me know in the comments, message me on Instagram or TikTok or threads or wherever. Just send me a message and we can chat in more depth. I know some of this stuff is an investment, but I would say Vive is one of those brands that I tend to save my money for and wait up for for sales, um, birthdays and stuff like that to buy these things because they are such little treasured pieces for me and I really do enjoy them. And it's kind of a little bit mind boggling for me. For me at my grand old age, if I was like, 16 year old me would be like, oh my god, you can afford a 45 pound eyeshadow palette. Well done. And I'm like, yes, yeah, well done to me and my growth. Um, so yeah, I know obviously there's way more expensive makeup than this designer stuff that's out there. Um, but I think Vive for the price point and the quality is absolutely incredible. Okay, again, if you've got any questions, let me know. But I hope this video was helpful for you um, in your shopping experience um and yeah thank you very much for sticking with me i think this video is going to be like half an hour 40 minutes long so <laughs> i appreciate that but yeah that's it for today's video thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye as a girly girl oh and this battery's gonna die pardon me oh and there's a big one somewhere i don't know where to put that actually Pinch is a peaky, peaky pinch. <laughs> I have not seen a line of lip line, a lipstick. Oh my god. <laughs> right, let's do some swatches.